This is a test of the emergency moron system. Had there been a real moron in the room, you would have seen a small mushroom cloud where the idiot had been standing. Well, that was certainly a lot better than what we saw in the Champions League midweek, but uh, there's still a problem there. We should have won this game a lot more comfortably than we did. And while I don't think we were ever in any real danger of losing the tie or even drawing it, despite the chances that Sutton had, we we should have given more. This was a chance for the, the Arsenal team to give the fans, to make a real statement for the fans. And instead they come out, OK, they took it easy, it was a professional display. But are United going to come out and just put two past Sutton? Or Chelsea going to come out and take it easy and just play nice and easy? This is the problem. It's that lack of killer instinct and cutting edge. And we saw it in Lucas. We saw he was so frustrated. He was making runs. He was playing passes. And the other players just weren't on his wavelength. And his wavelength was the right one. Theo Walcott, goal aside, couldn't control the ball. Alex Iwobi's form is in the toilet and should not be starting. How is he starting ahead of the Ox? Even if we can see that the Ox in midfield is better than the Ox out wide. The difference the Ox made in the second half when he came on was noticeable as well. El Nini's just not a creative player. He's a functional squad player and that's great. But alongside Zaka, we didn't have that creativity. We didn't have somebody picking off the runners. And the Ox brought in a bit of a drive. But he still almost cost us a goal as well with it is dicking about on the edge of the box that he does more often than he should. But we're into the hat for the next round. We know it's Lincoln. It's another non-league side and it's a big game for them at the Emirates. Win that semi-final. Another trip to Wembley. It can't go wrong, can it? Yes, yes, I know. I'm a miserable bastard. We won. It's great. It's better than losing. There's nothing to moan about. Blah, blah, blah. Hi, so, yeah, we won, yay! Next round of the FA Cup, and that's about all, everything good I can say about tonight. I missed the first 10 minutes, but I didn't miss much. Just like I wouldn't miss much if I didn't watch the whole match. I think almost all players looked like they don't really want to play. At least that that looked like it looked like that to me. Lucas Perez was really trying and running, and he probably could have scored a hat trick, or at least assisted a few more goals than he had tonight. He was really frustrated, and he was right to be frustrated. Uh, defense was really really bad at moments. We were lucky that Sutton United aren't that good, actually. And they easily could have scored, and then well, it would be a huge problem. Rob Holding really didn't make me feel confident about him. And the midfield was really the same thing we saw against Chelsea and Bayern, and losing the ball constantly and not, not really doing anything. El Nene didn't do much in first half, but Ox really changed the game when he came on, as we can, as we saw with his runs and trying to score or assist. Iwobi was probably my biggest disappointment tonight because, I mean, it's not that not some not something new because he was not really really good for like a month or something, but really didn't do anything tonight. So, yeah, let's hope that uh, Lenny's injury isn't anything serious and now it's time for some rest for all of us. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see against Liverpool who will, will Lucas Perez prob maybe get a chance. I'm, I'm, dre I'm a dreamer as always. We'll see. Yay, Lincoln next. Bye. So, Sutton United nil, Arsenal 2. Not a great deal to say about the game. Professional performance from Arsenal, although deeply uninspiring, particularly in central midfield, where 
Uh, El Nenny and Xhaka did not look like a convincing partnership by any stretch of the imagination. Things livened up when the Ox came on. At least he had a lot of energy, even if his final ball was often a little wayward. Um, always interesting to watch players' body language. Lucas looks deeply unhappy. Even when he scored, he looked pissed off. <laughs> um, but he quite frequently looks like that at the best of times, so I'm not quite sure if that's just his persona. Um, Sutton played pretty well. Nice to see an Arsenal old boy, Rory Deacon, nearly getting gold of the season, but being kind enough to not quite manage it against us. Uh, apart from what looked like a minor strain from the knee, no injuries on the plastic pitch, so that's always good. And now a big rest before the big one at Anfield. Um, yeah, that's about it to say, really. At least a, a win gets the team back on track after the cock-up in Germany. And hopefully uh, they can feel a bit more positive about themselves, knowing that they've got a nice, plump home draw in the next round of the FA Cup against another non-league team for which they have to be considered massive favourites. Um, apparently Arsenal's won the Cup every time he's played a non-league team, so maybe that's a good omen. All right. So, Tony Le Wert Sutton. Look at result. Not the greatest, to be honest. Uh, clean sheet. Defensively, a few mistakes. Could have been better, obviously. Uh, defenders under spin are, had a few bad moments, but uh, otherwise it was okay. Very disappointing, actually, the way the team still does the pressing. They don't really look organized at all. Going by wave of individual players pressing the ball holder rather than going together as a team and pressing forward. But uh, that's never been one of Wenger's forte, so no surprise over there. In terms of attacking, two goals could have been better. The of the ball movement against the team parking the bus wasn't great at all. You expect more triangles, more moves and stuff, and didn't really happen. So obviously it's an important result after the Bayern defeat, but uh, there's a lot of things to be worked on, and hopefully they will do better at the next game. So it's about ten minutes after Arsenal have beaten Sutton 2 0 in the FA Cup. Um I had to go and do my hair to record this video. Um slightly underwhelmed by the performance but probably would accept that Arsenal were in a bit of a hiding to nothing tonight. Um and they probably weren't gonna win eight nil, not if we're being re realistic. Uh nonetheless there's there's a couple of low points tonight. For me personally, I would say Theo Walcott um, found his level tonight and it's kind of fitting that his 100th goal came against Sutton. Um, didn't enjoy his performance very much. And David Ospina again shows us why, even though Petr Cech is um, declining quite rapidly by the looks of things, he is still the number one goalkeeper at the club. I think the summer can't come quick enough for me and I'd very much like to see what Chesney back in the Arsenal goal or at least uh, as the main challenger to Petr Cech because having a goalkeeper that can't really catch a ball and does some of the, I mean, Chesney would get hammered for some of the things that Ospina does um, and he does them on a regular basis so I don't really see him as a viable number one for the club um, I don't think this win's going to keep the Wolves away from the door too much, but Arsene Wenger would have known that before the game. On the plus side, the Ox I thought was very good. Lucas Perez, really good. I love that his goal, uh, Theo gets an inadvertent assist, trying to back heel a ball um, and missing it totally. And I don't think he was stepping over that. Um, and Lincoln at home in the quarterfinals, so... Without wanting to count chickens, you feel like Wembley beckons. Um, it'd be stupid to sit here and not say that. Um, but obviously they'll have to go and get the job done. Um, and at home you would expect them to do it. Uh, oh, that's all from me. Cheers. <laughs>